How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Skyrim discussion video. Today, we want to talk about the discussion of whether or not you should kill Cicero. So before I begin, I want to say that this video will have spoilers for the Dark Brotherhood questline. So if you haven't completed it or if you haven't made significant progress, don't watch this video. Unless, of course, you don't really give a shit. Um, so for those of you who don't know, when you join the Dark Brotherhood, um, pretty soon after you join, uh, a jester who is a very short and loud man named Cicero uh, joins up the team with the Night Mother, and he consistently kind of gets on Astrid's nerves. He kind of pisses her off a lot, and he causes a lot of drama. And anyways, towards the end of the quest line, he will attack Astrid, and basically, he gets exiled out of the Falkreath um, Brotherhood base. And he has to kind of go to the Dawn Star. Sorry, sorry if I'm talking a bit funny. I'm kind of a bit tired right now. He goes to the Dawn Star Dark Brotherhood base, where you have to hunt him down and kill him. Now, when you get through his long string of booby traps and dungeon crawling bullshit, and you get to him, you already find that he is already weakened from the wounds he inflicted from uh, Astrid's husband. And he's basically on the floor, and he sits there, and he's completely helpless. And you have the choice. You can kill him, or you can l not kill him, and simply lie to Astrid, saying that you have. Now, this is a pretty interesting dilemma, because on one hand, he is kind of a crackball, and some people hate him, some people love him. Me, personally, in my biased opinion, I love him. I think he's funny as fuck, and he's very unique. I think he adds quite a bit to the Dark Brotherhood questline, and just generally speaking, he's like literally one of a kind. There's nobody in Skyrim who's as crazy or as funny as he is. So let's talk about what happens. Before we talk about of whether or not you should or shouldn't, let's just discuss what happens when you do or don't. So if you don't kill him, what ends up happening is you go back to Astrid and you lie to her and then the questline presumes as normally, but if you don't kill him, he will become a potential follower. Basically, well, first of all, he runs away, and he's like, thank you, thank you for not killing me. But then later on, he'll, like, kind of jump scare you, and he'll be like, haha, guess who's back? I'm gonna kill you now. Just kidding, I'm not gonna kill you, I'm gonna be your follower. And so you, you can have him as a follower, and he's pretty powerful. And he's just generally a great guy. I mean, he's kind of like Skyrim's adoring fan, kind of. Not really, but he has the same kind of spirit as, like, the goofy, ridiculous, crazy guy. And he is pretty funny, and if you and after you complete the Dark Brotherhood quest line, like, like, like after you complete the main progression of it, and you know the whole the whole Dark Brotherhood is wiped out, and you all have to move up to the Dawnstar Sanctuary with Nazir and Babette, and yeah, that's literally it, Nazir and Babette. Um, me personally, I consider that to be the ending of the quest line, but there is a like infinite radiant quest you can do for it. So um, yeah, if you don't kill him and you let him live, it adds another person to the Dark Brotherhood, because basically you can rebuild the Dark Brotherhood after you complete the questline, but um, it's very shallow and it's a very empty husk of what it was, because the only people who are actually named unique people is Babette, who is borderline useless and two-dimensional, and Nazir, who is actually really badass and I really like him a lot, so I'm happy he survived. But it's literally just those two people, plus a bunch of unnamed assassins who you can hire on, I suppose. So I think just for the sake of keeping the Brotherhood, you know, feeling it slightly more alive, just for that reason alone, I would say it's beneficial to have Cicero, even if you don't want to have him as a follower. It just adds a tiny bit more life to a very lifeless husk of a guild. So for that reason, I say it's beneficial, and for having him as a companion, it's just even better than, than that. But um, let's talk about what happens if you do kill him. So if you do kill him, um, that's pretty much it. You just go back to Astrid and you tell her the truth, you tell her that you did kill him, and he's gone, like he's dead for good. But you get access to his unique um, outfit. So Cicero's clothes, which is kind of like the main chest piece, has an enchantment where prices are 20% better and one-handed attacks do 20% more damage. Cicero's boots make your movement silent, of course, completely silent, which is pretty standard, honestly, because every, like, Dark Brotherhood, um, boots does that, so that's not really special in any way. The gloves double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons. Again, that's not really special, because pretty much any, like, um, Dark Brotherhood gloves do that, if I'm not completely mistaken. And his hat increases your sneak by 35%. Now, that is really good. Now, it is important to mention that all of his armor has an armor rating of zero, because it is technically clothing. So, if you want to have armor that has an actual armor rating, this isn't really good. Although, his whole armor combined has about a 4,600 value. 
like all the four pieces combined. Now, it depends on what you care about, honestly, depending on whether or not you should make this decision. First of all, his clothes have the 20% better prices and the 20% better one-handed attack. That's decent, as well as the hat is also decent. The enchantments for me is nothing to write home about. It's pretty... I mean, it depends on what you have. Like, if you're pretty low level, like level 20, let's say, you know, maybe that would be a pretty good set. And maybe you just like the aesthetic a lot. Now, in my opinion, the only real way that it's worth it to actually kill Cicero is if you're one of those completionist people who wants to collect as many unique items as you possibly can. In that case, the only way of getting Cicero's armor is either by killing him right here and taking it, or I believe if you get the level 100 pickpocket perk, which allows you to take equipped um, armor, you can pickpocket him and take it off him while he's alive. But I'm not confident that you can even do that because he's a follower, so I don't think it works that way. Maybe I'm completely mistaken on that one, but I've tried it on Lydia and you can't do it really. And some NPCs, it's just flat out bugged no matter what. So generally speaking, the only 100% guaranteed way of getting the unique Cicero's clothing set is by killing him. Um, the enchantments are not really good. I mean, you could disenchant them, you could sell them, or maybe you just fucking think he deserves it. I mean, to an extent, he kind of does. He is kind of a prick. A murderous, crazy, lunatic prick. So if you think he deserves to die, then by all means, go ahead and kill him. But in my opinion, I would say almost universally, it's a better choice to not kill him. Um, because, you know, you get the follower and you get to maintain a little bit more life and character to the Dark Brotherhood after it crumbles to the ground. And, I mean, he's just a good character. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like in Skyrim, there's not many people like him. I think I've already said that, but I would like to maintain as much wacky people in my playthroughs. So, it depends. If you're thinking about it from an objective standpoint, killing him, probably not a good decision. But if you're role-playing and you're thinking about it from a moral perspective, yeah, killing him is probably the right thing to do, in my opinion. But um, please do let me know in the comments if you agree or if you disagree. I would love to know you guys' opinion. Um, personally, I've only actually gotten to this point in my playthroughs a few times, so I've only ever really let him live. I've never really killed him, but eh. I, I guess it's just up to preference. If you want the unique set, kill him. If you want a follower, don't kill him. That's pretty much what it boils down to. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you agree, if you disagree, leave a like and a sub as always. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but in a few days. Stay awesome and peace the frick out.